for an elbow pronation pales rails, what you're going to need is a dowel or something nice and long where we can create some torque in and through that, the, that forearm elbow joint. From here, what we're going to do is passively, we're going to get into as much pronation as we can. You're going to use the unworking hand to kind of dig yourself into a little bit of stretch. You should feel it on the lateral side of that forearm elbow joint. Once we find that passive stretch, we're going to hold for two minutes. I don't want any deviation in the wrist. Elbows stay nice and locked to the side of the body and bent at 90 degrees. Once we've gone through that two minute stretch, we're going to try to rotate our hand backwards like this into supination for that progressive tissue, our pales contraction. You're going to slowly ramp up 10% to 25, to 50, to 75, and then as hard as you can, you're going to hold that uh, supination contraction, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, then for our rails, our regressive tissue, we're going to try to rotate into a little bit more pronation. This is coming from the forearm and not from the wrist, lifting up off of that uh, unworking hand here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, catch yourself in the new stretch and repeat for as many rounds as prescribed. 